Hello everybody and welcome back to Pyre. My name is Nixia and I'm still just plowing through this game, enjoying the hell out of it. And we're going to seek out our next destination. Oh yes, we have to look at the stars now. Ooh! Yomur, the Dusk Star. The Dusk Star is faint over the spring of Yomur. You are not permitted to conduct the next right here. Oh yeah, we did that one already. Okay. Okay. Any new... No, Scorpus we've seen. Capriast we've seen. Geminian we've seen. Sagathol we've seen. Cassius we've seen. I'm exploring all of these things. I don't care. <laughs> Torfin and Verdun we've seen. Okay, we've seen all of those. Alright, so we're going to Haub, the Midnight Star. The Midnight Star burns bright over the standing stones at the edge of Flagging Hands. Interact to determine the location of the next right. Flagging Hands, I'm guessing. Oh! It's a dead pirate skeleton. Everyone, we're headed back east. All the way along the valley. Towards the cairn... <coughs> towards the cairn of Haub, then. According to the stars, the next rite shall soon commence here. The accursed Impier felled the mighty bone titan, Shaq's six shoulders. Say that six times fast. I'm not going to. That's right. We have to risk it. What if that minstrel guy doesn't turn up by then? We shall find him. On this night or another. They continue searching for some time. However, the minstrel is nowhere to be found. Oh, let's have a look inside the black wagon. Hello, Hedwin. He seems to have something on his mind. After vanquishing the, f after you've, uh, having vanquished the fate in a rather one-sided contest last night, you find Hedwin off on his own. You sense he wants to talk about your decision to exclude him from conducting the rite. Uh oh. I guess we'll have some tough choices to make before this is over, my friend. Just been thinking about that. I'm glad you let the others go instead of me during the rite. I mean that. All the more since we succeeded. I don't know what's more intense. Participating in the right or just watching from the sidelines? Anyway, thank you for checking in. I'm off to make sure we're ready to move. He departs to check on things outside. You sense that he has no misgivings about what transpired and is more concerned about, at present about the missing minstrel. Oh, that's nice. At least we've not made him angry. Oh, I see. Oh, I see what the... That was a cat. Can we extinguish all the candles? What's this? Zay's scribe catcher. The bundle of sticks Zay insisted on hanging in the rafters. She believes it brings good fortune. Clean up all the cobwebs again, of course. I'm convinced that there's a there's a achievement here somewhere. If there's not, I'll be very annoyed, but you know. Is that all of them? That seems to be all of them. What is this sparkliness? Don't know. Candles all blown out. All cobwebs destroyed. Imps irritated. <laughs> look at this, look at his little face. All right, let's go. Continue your journey. There's still no sign of the lone minstrel, although Jodariel tracks potential signs of movements east, the same way you are headed. You consider where to search for him. Glue hive or fall flat. Okay, so Gluhive, the, the north route across the Jomura Valley possesses the remains of the Hive Titan. Hedwin thinks the missing minstrel could have taken the route opposite to the one you took. The south route of the Jomura Valley is riddled with barren rock and bone. Yet Ariel believes the missing minstrel must have taken the same route you took earlier. I'm gonna go with Gluhive because I want Hedwin to be happy. <laughs> because I left, I know he doesn't care that I left him out of the last one, but you know, need to be fair. Okay. As you travel through the rocky pathways of Gluhive, um, yeah, Hedwin seems more ill at ease than usual. There's no sign of the missing minstrel. Sorry about this, Jody. I did. I had a hunch he must have come this way. Would that our hunches could be more dependable. But do not fear. That's the wrong accent. We shall find him yet. Sounds like a hunch to me. <laughs> more of a promise. You pick up bits and pieces of the minstrel's significance to your... To your fellow exiles. Oh, I see. He was there when they first discovered the back black wagon, but they refuse to say much more for now. You chose poorly. We're just coming all the way back around here, are we? Apparently so. 
Stop the wagon. What? I come. Because of her. They're coming! They're coming for us! We have to be ready! We have to! Does she mean what I think she means? I believe so. Your fellow exiles scramble to prepare the wagon for whatever is out there. Once you help them settle in, perhaps you can learn more of their source of concern. Anything I can do in here? Oh, I can read the second one of these, of course. Oh no, there isn't a second one. I thought there'd be a second one by now. Okay, apparently not. Uh, nope, okay. Moving on. Prepare for the night. They are coming for us. They fear the scribes. They fear the scribes. I know they do. What's she talking about? What's going on? Howlers. Lots of them. Then what are we going to do? They fear the scribes. Calm yourself, Zay. We shall give them reason to fear us as well. We'll use the raiments and the books. Indeed. One of us can draw them out under the reader's watch. It shall be just... Ah, it shall be just like one of our rights. Edwin turns to you. It seems we need your help in this, my friend. We just need a volunteer to go with you. I will do it, mister. Please, you have to let me. And the scribes, they will protect me. I know they will. Sariel exchanges looks with Edwin. Each of them nods to you, as if to ex signal their approval. Zay intends to help fend off the howlers. Prepare for them. What are howlers? Toggle aim assist in the option. No! Absolutely not. I'm not gonna cheat. Oh my word. That howling sound. It means... Oh my word, that is howling. Actually, it sounds like a group of turkeys. <laughs> it just sounds like a bunch of turkeys. It means... It means they're here. Oh, by the scribes, they're here. She's a weird one. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Hiya. Hey okay. Hey I'm not getting aim assist. Get away. <laughs> you saying I'm bad? Oh. Oh. Can I just use my aura? I can. So I can just walk into them. There we go. This is easy. Aim assist, my arse. Oh. Get away. Oh, three for one. Three for one. Oh, yeah. Four for one. Okay, here we go. Three for one again. Oh, damn it. Missed one. Oh, excuse me. Get away. What are they? Oh, what was that? Nice. Banish the hell was by power casting. I am. Why is it not? Why is this not going up? I am banishing them by power casting. More, I think. There's more. There's many more. Oh, here they come. <laughs> the turkey. Oh, here they come. Here they come. <laughs> I can't take them seriously. They're turkey. Jump is W. That was it. Oh, they're coming on in the sides. They're coming in the sides. Get them. Get them. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Fuck. 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 Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. No. Oh, you fucker. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, I'm, I'm losing. Stop this. Stop this. Woo. Released. A I wasn't paying attention to the tips in the top left there. Is it all for now at last? It is. I think it is. Oh, those poor and wretched beasts. Just then, Zay spots something creeping towards her. Who? Oh, what? <laughs> ferocious creature. That's not ferocious. It's cute. <laughs> <laughs> While holding this, release when you see a flash to power cast an exile's aura. Oh. Whoops. Wasn't paying attention to that. The howling subsides the howling. The gobbling subsides as your fellow exile scramble out to check on Zay. You find her in one piece, along with an unfamiliar little face. <laughs> Isn't he the best? Can we keep him? Oh yes, we can keep him. 
He's a drive imp. Scree hoo. You sense a depth of experience in this creature, at least, judging by drive imp standards. In fact, you feel a connection to him. If you concentrate, perhaps you can derive some meaning from his calls and screeches. Scree <laughs> The drive imp seems both excited and frustrated by something. Interact to try to understand him. Interact to try again to further interpret him. <laughs> you have a history with your black wagon. You're beginning to understand him. Interact to strengthen your bond with the creature. Look at his face! Oh, I love him! He is coming on all of the missions. The knight who recognizes you as the new reader of the night wings. He is pleased to meet meet you. You can now can understand this unusual drive imp. The drive imp seems satisfied to have gotten through to you. And you explain to your companions what little you have learned of him so far. <laughs> No one argues against letting the creature come along. Inside the wagon, the other drive imps stare at him with something like reverence. <laughs> He's the leader of the drive imps. Drive imp joined you. Seems to know his way around. Welcome him aboard. Can I speak to him? <gasps> Hello, drive imp. You can see the little imp has made himself at home. He rushes right up to you. Your new imp companion seems very pleased to be in the wagon. <laughs> he indicates he was able to find you thanks to the swarm of howlers. He has no love of howlers. Gobblers. Come on now. And they know not to mess with him either. <laughs> he plans to set up a nest that should ward off any further trouble from them. He looks forward to the road ahead with everyone and believes it shall be worth it. He seems to be saying he is happy to be back where he belongs and he urges you to keep going. I love him. He bounds off towards his brethren, settled in the wagon's rafters. Does he have a name or is he just called Drive Imp? Look yeah, at these cobwebs. Good lord, the cobwebs are just nonsense. Okay, interesting. <laughs> interesting, we now have a pet Drive Imp. I love it. Alright, continue the journey. We're going to lick sand? We're going to lick sand. An arid southern path toward the ominous cairn of Haub. Your new imp friend seems insistent. You take this path bearing east. Very well. Hedwin orders the wagon to a halt somewhere in the dry flats of the Jomur Valley. There's someone on the road. Be careful, everyone. The figure watching the bla black wagon from afar approaches. Arms spread wine spread wide, although a hat and cloak conceal the figure's features. Then the imp rushes out towards whoever it is. The imp is very riled up at the sight of whoever is approaching, although almost in almost a joyous way. Oh, it's the, it's the, the, the min minstrel. Tizo! Oh, that's a good name. He's a venerable drive imp who seems to know the ins and outs of the Nightwing's black wagon. It is good to see you, and you've found the others, even faster than expected. The imp called Tizo Tizo, 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 appears very pleased. The lone minstrel turns towards the rest of you. Hello. We have not met, but I know who you are. Or who you must be. I returned as promptly as I could. Have you walked with the scribes themselves? Because I think maybe you have. Hello indeed. You had us worried there when you took off. I should knock him back into his slumber. I did not aim to cause you such concern. As soon as I awakened, I had to notify my client that the Nightwings have returned. Your client? I, my client, Sandalwood. Yes, this mysterious informant. He is your point of contact, as I understand. You did not find his wagon by mistake. So what, so what now? You will continue down the path. That is why I am here. When we meet my client, he shall explain. For now, you have a job to do. I assure you that I shall not interfere. But I mean to accompany you. Would that be all right? Hedwin and the others exchange looks. Welcome back, minstrel. You got a name? I am sometimes called Tarik. Tarik the Lone Minstrel. He appears to be a traveling magician, yet seems to be connected to the rites. It is a pleasure to meet you, Nightwings. The Lone Minstrel returns to the Black Wagon with your fellow exiles. The Lone Minstrel rejoined the group. Great. This is good because... Okay, so we're heading up to this big, dead pirate skeleton. The Cairn of Haub is a foreboding site. 
It is here that the next rite is soon to commence. Ligaratus? A reader, if you have a moment. Once we're settled on these grounds, I wish to speak with you in the wagon at your leisure. Slug market! Oh, hey guys, fancy running into you this side of the set. So, what can I do for? Do you for? Uh, Ron? How do you make it all this way ahead of us? Ah, come on now, Mr. Greetail. Can't just give up all my business secrets. Alright. What I can do, though, is seeing as you've been such a good customer at all, is provide for you a sample of a little something, something you might like. Yeah, check this out. Seeing as you bought that moon crest thing here from me last time, well, I was thinking you could use this. Uh, I got more if you want. You received a pinch of stardust. It does seem useful. Raises the rank of certain talismans plus one. Interesting. Thank Ron for the sample. Lucrative contract. After banishing an adversary, the bearer gains plus one gold up to this many times per right. Up to ten times per right. That's interesting. Okay, so I can, but that seems pointless because it costs ten, and it means I can get ten back. Oh, per every right, it doesn't. It's not just one use. Okay, that's fine. I'll have that. Uh, what is that's more pinch of stardust? Yeah, I'll leave it for the moment. While carrying the orb, the bearer moves faster than usual. Plus ten percent. Don't have enough. I have enough for either of these. Action call. At the start of a right, the bearer's pyre automatically gains plus seven. When the plunging into the adversary's pile, the bearer deals bonus damage plus two. Interesting. Alright, we'll leave it for the moment, I think. But I'll give this to... I'll give it to Hedwood. And we'll leave the rest. I'll be seeing you guys! Bye, Ron. Low minstrel. The, low, the lone minstrel seems to have situated himself in the wagon. He is very still, not unlike when he was sleeping. Rida, I shall, I shall keep this brief. As you shortly have a right, you must conduct. You have read something in the of the Book of Rights, which means that you may know something of my nature. On the contrary, you know not what it mean, what he means, and he soon senses this. Forgive me if for I spoke too soon. Suffice it, that I have served the Nightwings for some time. Conduct the rites with glory, and you shall achieve what you seek. The Lone Minstrel nods farewell to, you, farewell, farewell to you. I cannot talk today, I'm sorry. <laughs> and steps away. Okay, what? Ooh, white lute. The Lone Minstrel Tarek's musical instrument, which he chronicles the great deeds through song. Interact to listen to various music from your quest. Ooh, the Lone Minstrel and his white lute chronicle the journey of the Night Rings through song. Using it, you may hear glimpses of your past experiences across the downside. Which piece of music do you want to hear? Surviving Exile. Achievement unlocked. The White Loot. Nice. Yeah, this is the this is the Diablo 2 one. Nice. That's cool. So we got a little jukebox there. That's nice. Let's go for the next right then. You and your fellow exiles gather around the sacred site known as the Cairn of Haub, anticipating the hour that the rites are to commence again. I need to remember to jump and all that kind of thing. All is quiet for a time, and then... From out of nowhere, charges a gangly car. Oh my word, the music. He stops short and gives you a mighty sneer. Psst. Psst. That's Barker F. Ashpaws. Real piece of work. Just don't make... Eye I've gone back to Cockney again, somehow. <laughs> Just don't make eye contact. Alright, well, would you look at this lot? Hey, we got one of our... Uh, consorting with the two legus. You're a disgrace there, mate. You realise? <laughs> Uh, good to s <laughs> good to see you, Barker. You're looking well. Doesn't know you knew about the rights. I know about a lot of things, my friend. For instance, I know you're going to be very, very sad after we wipe the floor with you here. This is silly music. <laughs> Don't know where you, whose back you scratched to earn yourself a spot in the high and mighty night wings there, but I'm going to make sure you all of you regret it. Because why not? Sounds good. Sounds good. The current Barker. Laughs away as his pack stumbles after him. You hear them howling and cackling as the stars above begin to glow. Oh dear. Okay, remember to jump.
In the right, evade, evading with W or sprinting with shift costs stamina, which regenerates automatically. We know this. Oh, you think? But first, there's a tradition to uphold. This time you stand against the dissidents. Even the dissidents. Now they hunger to defeat My you. word. Perhaps not simply to regain their freedom, but to deny you yours. All right. So, as the stars shine, stars shine down upon you, you're the pack of curs you stand against this night. Continue hooting and howling. Boy, come on, you lot! Let's boil some blood. And Rookie pulls you aside. Um, look, chum, I don't know how to say this, but I can't go against these guys. Just trust me on this one, okay? You sense he means it. You make a mental note to ask it about his history with Barker whenever time permits. He's a troublemaking cur who thrills in the defeat of triumvirates who stand against him. It's all right, Rookie. We can take care of them. Begging your pardon, but if, if you need another to stand against, stand at your side this night, I have someone here whom I would recommend. Do not be coy with us, minstrel. Don the robes if you intend to stand with us. Oh, I did not mean myself. <laughs> the rights are not for me. I was instead referring to this little one. Oh, he is coming with us. It's Hollow Knight. Oh, it's so good. He's Hollow Knight. It's, it's even better. A creature wearing tiny raiments appears at the lone minstrel's side. Scree. <laughs> Tizo, Tizo seems, to be, seems to be volunteering to take on your adversaries, the dissidents. Absurd. The imp knows the rights. He knows a great deal. So long as the night wings stand together, you shall be at their side. Though, you need not take my word for it. Tizo, our adversaries seem to be preoccupied. Perhaps you might quickly show our comrades what you can do. The little imp peers at you. You sense his connection to the rights as he awaits your guidance. Okay. Hello. Oh, he's a chubby little holler knight. I love him. Scrahi! <laughs> Tizo seems excited to demonstrate some of his favorite tricks. Arida, influencing Tizo may take some getting used to. He is inviting you to try. Okay, Tizo. Hold W to flutter until stamina depleted. <gasps> he gets fatter! Oh, it's the best thing ever! Hold shift to zip. Oh, my word. Hold to implode. That doesn't. That's an explode. That's not implode. Tizo soon. Tizo soon returns after imploding. I love him. Oh, he's the best. <laughs> this is great. Oh man. Yeah, that's fine. I got it. <laughs> oh, he's coming on all missions from now on. Well done, as ever, Tizo. Scrock! Tizo is happy to lend his support during the rites if you could use his help. I will happily take his help. Well then, Rita, who shall conduct the rites in the name of the Nightwings? Alright, you're coming. And... You're coming, most definitely. Oh, he's got a good aura as well. Wow. And I think I'll take Jodariel. Yeah. Scrahi! Tizo is ready to prove himself against the dissidents. Time's up, you swill. Come on, boys. Let's get him. All right, all right. Get ready for this. Begin. Do, 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 do. Absolutely not. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, not happening. Hop. Hop. Wrecked. <laughs> Dizo is the best. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Actually, Jodariel, can you just move over here, please? Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Remember, jump, jump, jump. Deliverance. Nice. This is easy. Silly dogs. All right, you, Daryl, move back over here, please. Thank you. You, Tizo. Take that, Barker. Take that, indeed, Barker. Oh, ho, ho. 
Oh! Tizo doused the fire! Tizo! The man! Alright, alright. Whoop! Get me. Whoop, that was silly. Why'd I do that? Plunged into their fire. Alright, you lot, that does it. No more fussing around, right? My boys and me, we're proper angry now. I've got the throat. Oh, Jesus, what is this? Alright. You go over here. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm trying to defend here, dude. Alright, fuck it. That's not what I wanted to do. Shit. Ah, god damn it. Oh, fuck. Get wrecked. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Get in. Yes. Nice one, Jodariel. Woo. It's tense. We won. Tizo is the man. Look at him. Look at his little face. I love him. And he looks like Hollow Knight when he's got his mask on. Oh, that ought to show them. <laughs> Tizo is excited to have prevailed in his first right with your group. <laughs> well, well, I'll be a heaping ball of dung. But I can't believe you shoddy lot showed us for the what for like that. My boys and I will just have to take you a tad more serious next time. Till then, you be sure to tell old rookie Greentail that yours truly, he remembers everything. You hear? Interesting. The right do tend to teach something of trust. I used to think the scribes were just the stuff of stories, but all of this, this really is their doing, isn't it? Nice. Choose a mastery for Hedwin. Okay. So this is the allies regenerate stamina twice as quickly. Jumps into airborne adversaries. He banishes them. <laughs> That's cool. And power casting, Hedwin's aura travels in a wider, longer line than usual. Yeah, I need to remember about that. Let's try that one. Nice. You get out? No, you didn't get a level. Tizo! Yes! What does Tizo get to do? Tizo feels solemn respect for the rites and all their myriad complexities. <laughs> I love him. He is the best. Right. While fluttering or zipping, Tizo moves much faster than usual. If banished, Tizo drops a moon sign allies can instantly transport to from their pyre. Ooh. That seems decent. Is the influence of the imp scribe. That seems decent. Okay, back. Until the next Splendid was your guidance for the Nightwings, Rita. Your fellows are fortunate to have found one such as you. May you find free the freedom that you seek. Nice. After vanquishing the dissidents with great prowess, you return to the wagon to recover from the night's ordeal and figure out how best to proceed. You all right, rookie? Think so, chum. Just need a little time. Didn't count on Barker being caught up in all this. You don't owe him your conscience. You'll show, sort things out with him. You always do. Mm. I do not wish to interrupt, but the dark of night is waning. Arida, would you join us outside, please? You find Jodariel and the lone minstrel gazing into the sky above the valley, which is beginning to grow pale. You look towards the heavens. Okay. Thank you very much for joining me for this episode. I'm going to leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed it. I did, certainly did. If you did, then please feel free to leave a like down below. It does help out a great deal. And if you'd like to see more of this series and more other episodes of other series that I'm making as well, then do subscribe to the channel and you will get updates pretty much daily from me as well. Thank you once again and enjoy the rest of your morning, evening, afternoon or night, whatever you're having. Bye-bye.